Having to live with inconvenience is one thing. Being wronged and fined when the no motorcycle rule is not even clearly spelled out is another. Motorcyclists like Raju are frustrated with the lack of prominent warning signs at places where their vehicles are not welcomed. Have you reflected to their management about your frustration? Uh, no, but I did write letter to uh, LTA for one time locking, I mean, claiming my bike for no good reason because there's no sign written outside the car park. And I just went in the park, attend the penalty fees, like hundred dollars. Did you pay for it in the end? I have no choice. Ah, yeah. LTA cannot help you. No, they can't. Yeah, they say it's, uh, it's a policy. One hundred dollars to unclamp a motorbike, and that's before GST is factored in. But there are still places which are friendly to motorcyclists. In fact, I have a big respect for Liang Court. This building, they have a separate lane, just one yellow line saying that motorcyclists can go this way. That's all you need. It's just a couple of pains. It's not going to cost them much anyway. Motorbike owners should be heartened to learn that their pleas have not gone unheard. Although City Square Mall will stand by its no motorbikes rule, its management says it's in the process of placing signage at its car park entrance to inform motorcyclists of alternative parking lots around. Sentosa Leisure Group has also put up a no motorcycle sign at the start of the Sentosa Gateway, and the warning is also included on its website. Some management groups are also more flexible with handling motorcyclists' parking demands. For instance, although one Fullerton car park is reserved for motorists with season tickets, if a motorcyclist happens to miss the warning sign and goes through the barrier, its staff will still be willing to direct you to the unoccupied lots. So sometimes it pays well to voice your grievances if you want more to be done.